Hey guys, welcome back to Soul Calibur 5. A man stopped you? Yes. He possessed strange powers and commanded some kind of a monster. Zwei. Damn that cursed werewolf. You know of him, my lord. Is he a Malfested? That man stands in the way of ridding the world of the Malfested. Get rid of him! He seemed to know about my sister. My lord, does he have something to do with her? You just need to kill those I say to kill. I have served you faithfully and done everything you've asked. Yet you have made no effort to search for my sister. It seems you are unable to obey my orders. I've had enough. Leave my sight at once and never return. A dog such as you has no business making demands. I'm no dog. I am a holy warrior! How absurd. You are nothing more than a dog. I couldn't care less about what happened to a pathetic dog's family. She's probably already dead in some alley. So you've lied to me all this time! Don't walk away, you coward! <sighs> Get rid of him. Okay, so... This heartless son of a bitch didn't do anything to help Patroclus in any way, shape, or form. And was basically just using him, so let's just fight this thing that he sicked on as this freak. I don't even know what the hell you would call this thing. It's, it has a name. I just I think it comes up here in a second. Um, I can't I can't make that own little screen here, but yeah, you gotta fight this guy, and he's by far the weirdest looking guy in the game, in my opinion. Very strange looking thing. Or man or whatever, the, whatever it's supposed to be. Very odd movement and very different. His weapons, I believe, are called Cestasis, like uh, very similar to that of Freddy Krueger or um, Wolverine from the X-Men. It's, it's like that clawed type of weapon. He's very strange, actually. But anyway, we're playing Patroclus again, and I got perfect on that. That's nice. Didn't get hit once. Okay, so it looks like we're beating him so far. Two of three, last round here. Let's see if we can make a perfect score. Oh, okay, I'm not getting a perfect this time because he got in that little freaking claw move and I'm trying to shield bash him to no end. Oh, oh crap, oh crap, okay. Ew. He has very eerie movements. Like, it looks like he resembles like when he does those friggin' four-way or four... four-footed... Movements. Looks like Gollum from Lord of the Rings or some creepy monkey or something. Just something creepy and gross. It's weird. But yeah, in the last part, um, Patroclus started looking for his sister and looking for a ring blade, ring blade wielding, um, killer that took his sister, so... Hopefully, once we beat this guy, we can start that search. Nice, I blocked that. Okay, we're beating him so far. Granted, he's pull a friggin' crazy out of his hat, or his ass, or whatever he has. And, okay. That was pretty close one, but we still beat him. So, let's carry on. Knew you'd show up sooner or later. So, you finished being a dog? Tell me everything you know about my sister, now! I guess you'll do. Here, follow me if you really want to know. Sorry to keep you waiting, Captain. This is Patroclus Alexander, the Holy Warrior. That's the guy I was telling you about. <laughs> and take up that sword. Crossing swords is the best way to know someone. Okay, so this guy wants to go at it, so let's just go right about that. 
you know, I always thought that in this game they would like do the old fashioned throwing a gauntlet down type of thing to pick a fight with someone, but apparently they throw swords, so it's almost the same thing. And he's wielding a sword the size of a school bus, which resembles partly, I kind of thought that like, resembles something like a monster kind of like a great sword, huge sword, and he hits like a freaking beast. Okay, um, yeah, he, he's kicking the crap out of me right now, because that sword does a lot of damage, and it has a hell of a range, if you haven't noticed by this point. But I might be able to make a comeback here, I'm real careful. Oh, yes, yes, no, 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 hit him, hit him, hit him! Okay, okay, we beat him. Barely, but we beat him. Okay, this guy is not playing around, I believe his name is, uh, Siegfried. Okay. I believe, if I'm not mistaken, he is the character in the the first cutscene when we first started this game in the last part. He was the one that fought a nightmare in the beginning. I believe this is the same guy. Okay, oh, okay, he's using a big... Okay, he hit me with a superpower move, and I think he's gonna win this round, because he isn't looking up for me right now. Unless I pull some really wicked moves off here. I don't think so, though. He hits me, like, one more time, I'm done. Oh, no, oh wow, nice. Alright, two KOs in a row, just one more. Okay, he's pretty, pretty powerful opponent this, uh, this far in the game. He hits like a freaking beast and huge range. And right now I'm just beating the crap. He's not even trying to defend himself. Wow. Stupid AI. Either the, either the AI in this game are really smart sometimes, or they're just really stunned sometimes. I believe I block that. Yes, I do. Luckily, you can block his superpower moves, as far as I know. There might be a few you probably can't, but... His you can, so that's but that's good so far. And yes, we kicked his ass three times in a row. We didn't have a chance. Don't feel bad about it. You couldn't have prevailed. No need for alarm. This just means you are worthy to wield Soul Caliber. Never heard of it. It is the Spirit Sword that is destined to stop the calamity brought on by the Cursed Sword, Soul Edge. I was once its wielder, but ever since it destroyed Soul Edge 17 years ago, it has all but lost its power. I had stopped wielding Soul Calibur since that fateful day. But just recently, I realized that the sword had changed, taking up a new form. It turned into the sword that you now hold. I am no longer the master of the Spirit Sword. It has selected you instead. So it chose me. Does this sword have the power to destroy the Malfested? The sword has the power to destroy Soul Edge. I'm sure it's effective against the Malfested as well. In that case, I shall accept it gladly. It is the perfect tool with which for me to wreak my revenge. I want you to wield Soul Calibur as a member of Schwarzfind, and lend a hand in our fight. I will no longer serve anyone. Now tell me what you know about my sister. There have already been sightings of the girl with a ring blade. If you join and fight with us, we would be willing to help you out in return. The information about the ring blade is from Eastern Zoxen. That's also where Malfested attacks are on the rise. Then that's where I'll go to look for her. What do they want? Zvi and Viola will be escorting you on your journey. I don't need anyone's help! The three of you are traveling together, and I won't hear otherwise. Understood? And if you come across Nightmare, call for reinforcements. You mean the Azure Knight that wielded Soul Edge? But he's just a fairy tale to keep idiots from trying to go after the sword. Nightmare is the name given to the wielder of Soul Edge. It transforms even the meekest into an unstoppable force. Well, now that we're all agreed, the three of you should be on your way. Okay, so it appears that Siegfried wears the pants in the situation here, and we're taking those two along whether he wants to or not. Well, well, Piro. Not bad. Oh, 
No, it wasn't me. I would never do this to the people of the city. Of course, I forgive you. You are just <laughs> protecting yourself from those nasty people who were trying to kill you. They were the bad guys. Look, more humans that misunderstand you. Better kill them first before they kill you. No. I don't want to get hurt. I don't want to die. I want to live. Please, go away! Okay, so this chapter we're playing as Patroclus' sister, Pyrrha. And the chick wielding the ring like blade, which is called a ring blade, is uh the um resembles that of the, upon the capturer that to took her, so you won't get out of here and alive. um the chick wielding the ring blade combination of sick and you. death. It just looks like a she just looks disgusting in my opinion. Right. Just when I first played this game, she really reminded me of from uh, Batman, that really horrible looking clown woman into a joker. He just. Ugh. Just, just gross. Just, just gross. But we, um, we're playing as Pyrrha now, and she has. Very similar to Patroclus, she has a little shield and a short sword. And we first start off fighting random clowns. Um, guards of the city, so that one was a piece of cake, so let's take on the second one. Light. This one looks a bit more uh, arm-looking. Yeah, like he's wielding a scimitar. It looks like. For a second there, I thought he had two swords, but fortunately only had one. I don't know if it's better or good. I assume good. And right now he's kicking the crap out of me. Um, there we go. Need him. Need him in the oh, crotch there. Okay, maybe hit low. I might get okay. <laughs> I was gonna say maybe if I hit him low, maybe I'd, I'd have better luck, but apparently not. And I already, I've already lost. So, or stab at this. Okay. Luckily, it doesn't make you fight all of them over again. Just the guy who lost on. So that's that's nice. We don't have to fight the first guy again. Just this guy. But hopefully, we have some better luck here. Right now, I'm kicking the crap out of him. So table turned a bit. And we're gonna stun. Knee him in the crotch again. Kick him in the gut. There we go. Perfect. Much better than last time. Okay, Only one so far so good. Fight the third guy, final battle. battle. This Fight. guy, probably, I would say he's probably the toughest looking guy. He's wielding a two, two-handed sword, so... Probably a bit stronger than the other two. Okay, okay, careful now. There we go, nice, perfect, wow. Surprising, I got perfect on the last guy, wow. Victory Forgive me. Someone again. Hey, you're a malfested. That's what you're supposed to do. What are you saying? But I'm human. <laughs> you thought you were human? Normal humans don't go around killing people in burning towns. No, I'm not a malfested. I'm. Oh, you don't want to be a malfested? Have you forgotten about all those who called you a bringer of woe and hunted you like an animal? I haven't, but I... I'm sorry. So sorry. Please forgive me. And with that comes to the end of this part. Um, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next part of Soul Calibur 5. Thanks for watching, and see you later.